Hi, this is Scott Marshburn with eCabinets Tips and Tricks. The other day I got a message on Facebook from Glenn Warner. He wanted to know if I had any good tips for lighting in eCabinets. Well, I've got a few and I would like to share them with you so stick around and see what they are. Now before I get too carried away with uh, applying lighting effects and everything in the room, one thing that you need to make sure that you do is you need to have some sort of sheen to everything in, in the room here. In other words, all your appliances, your countertop, your cabinets, your walls, and your floor. Without some sort of sheen, even if it's nothing but a one, you're not going to get good results. Generally, I start out with a five on my cabinets and maybe a six or so or eight on my countertop and usually the same thing for my sink and appliances as I use for my countertop. The floor I usually set at around two to four and my walls um, depending on the color that they are uh, between one and, and maybe six and you know to do that you just you got this dialogue if you go down here to the bottom you got a dialogue area down here and you can fine tune the light intensity and the sh the shine and you just right click on whatever it is you want to adjust and first you, you type it in here like for example the floor and you go apply dialogue settings so I've already gone through and done all that and uh, we're going to get into putting the lighting effects in. So what I've got here is a custom layout that I've done. I have a quite a large window here, but uh, that's what's in the existing kitchen. This is a remodel job. There was an opening here, and then there was a door, but they're changing this wall around. Um, this is actually my mom's kitchen. But anyhow, I want to show you how I laid out this lighting here. Uh, what I got here on the outside is a bunch of different different lights, and they're at different heights. And what I want to show you is the uh, position of these lights give a uh, a lot of different effects on the on the sunlight shining through a window like this. So that's what I want to do first. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on presentation view and wait for this thing to render. And as you can see, I'm I'm zoomed way out. I can reach just about every light I've got in this room here. And I want to set them set them up so that I can basically spin the kitchen around and and show her what it what it's going to look like. But I also want to be able to. Uh, get in real close and and do like a slideshow and show some different details but anyhow let me let me do a presentation view and then I'll be right back and get into uh, setting up these lights okay so what I got here is basically a dark room uh, I've got a couple of lights on just to help see a little bit what I want to show you first of all is how these lights on the outside here the different positions react differently uh, when shining through this window. The first one I want to show you is this one right here. I'm going to right click on it and adjust light intensity and I'm going to put it on about 40 and render. And now you can see the, the light shining through the uh, mullions there in the window this is real close to the edge of the window and real close to the wall here to the end of the wall and it is set at the same height as the wall and it's casting the shadow at a real sharp angle this way and uh, that's one effect now you can move that over a little bit um, as a matter of fact, you can you can put several lights out here at different heights and pick and choose which one you like the best, and then delete the rest of them. Uh, but let me show you um, another one. Let's see what this one looks like right here, and it's I believe is on the same yeah it's on the same row as that one. 
but um, I'm going to click on it and I'm going to put it up to about 40 and render that now even though that this light is on the same position on the wall as this one is this way it's this is about 30 inches up from the top of the wall and it's got a whole nother angle to it and, and you know that looks pretty good like that but, but if you uh, look at this one over here you turn that to dark and this one at the far right there when I render it the, the angle is going to be just the opposite direction now you can see how that one's shining across but what I, the one that I want is the one that is basically in the middle almost in the middle uh, this one right here so I'm going to use it I'm going to go with about a 40 intensity there I like that one pretty good and like I said you know you could play around with that and come up with different techniques of doing it and and each job is different uh, there's no cut and dry method to putting these lights in here except for the fact that you need to have them positioned at different heights and you know what it would think about the shots that you would take if you were going into a job and taking pictures of a job that saw, that you've already installed or you had a professional photographer come in what kind of lighting setup would they use they wouldn't just turn the light switch on in, in the room and start taking pictures they would bring their lighting in and position it in different spots and you know and, and adjust the light intensity until they they were happy with what they had and what I'm trying to do here now is kind of get this thing positioned so that I can see uh, most if not all of my lights I'm not going to be able to see all of them under the counter but I want to kind of get an overall lighting effect so I don't have to uh, do a whole lot of playing around when I go and, and show my mom this kitchen um, what I'm going to do first is go ahead and just render this because I can see all these lights here uh, the only ones I can't see is the ones that I have under the counter here but we'll tweak them in a minute so I'm going to just render this and I'm going to start turning on some lights I'm going to take this one right here and I'm going to put it up to about I don't know maybe 50 and this one here I'm going to put it on about 10 because the only thing I'm wanting to do is just make sure that this top of this cabinet is lit up and this is this light right here I've got like way high and it's just going to basically give a lighting effect to the whole room so I'm going to put in on about since it's so high I'm going to put in on about um, about 60 uh, this one right here is going to light this one is set just about to the countertop height maybe a little higher so it's going to light up the countertop a little bit plus the front of this cabinet here so I'm going to change, I'm going to turn it on, I'm going to put it on about 10, and I'm going to change that one to 10, it's already at 10, and this one right here, this is going to light up the corner of this peninsula island here, so I'm going to set it pretty high, I'm going to put it at about 40, um, this one here is going to light up the back of the bar there, it's on 30 now, and that one I'm going to put it on about 30 and these right here are, are to light up this countertop right now I'm just going to turn this one on because it's in the middle I might not even need the rest of them that's on 10 already let's see um, that one's on 6 and that one's on 0 so let's go ahead and render this now you can see I got some major glare going on the floor here um, let's see what the shine set at let's set this shine at about 2 we got some glare right here but 
Let's see what happens when I change this. Right now it's at 50, so I'm going to go down to 40 and render that. Okay, so now I'm ready to start rotating. Um, I'm getting in a little bit closer. The first shot I want to work with is this one right here. I'm going to turn this around where I can see that light right there and render that. Now, <clears throat> I'm getting some glare on this that I'm not liking. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this down to about 40. And I'm liking that pretty good. Um, let's go around to the back side here and see what we look like. I might would have to come in here and uh, maybe turn this one on a little bit brighter or maybe just turn this one on all together. That's a six. But that looks pretty good there. Let me come around this way and see what this angle looks like. And I'm liking that too. That is on a 30. Let's change it to 40. Let's see if we can kill that shadow on the floor a little bit. I might would have to move that in closer to uh, get a little bit better detail on that but for now I'm happy with that so what I want to do is I want to get my first angle here and kind of zoom in I want to see what it looks like probably about like that so I think that looks pretty good um, like I said you could play with these light intensities that looks even better there that's on a 10 now I'm going to leave that just like it is. I'm going to come around here and see what I could do with these lights under this counter here. Go around this way. Right now that's kind of a dark corner there. Let's put that one on 10. And I'm going to leave that one alone for now. Let's see now got a glare on that um, that one's on 6 and this one is on 10 so let's change this to a, a 6 also and see if that helps it out any it helped it out some I think what I need to do is move these down so I'm going to go back into floor plan and move those down okay so I lowered these lights down and I went ahead and set all the light intensity I actually turned that one off which helped on the glare on this and I turned this one on and set it to 6 and this one to 6 um, now like I said you could play around with these all you want just up to your your own personal taste what what is pleasing to your eye um, but I also moved these uh, closer in which got rid of that shadow there as well as added some some detail on on the island there um, but that's that's about it as far as lighting goes and like I said it's you know it's something that is trial and error uh, just put some lights in there and you know kind of think about where your dark spots are going to be at which is usually in, uh, in the underneath side of your cabinets and and you know in corners and tight spots and places like that and anything that you want to really bring out to show the customer you would want to make sure that you got lighting in there you can always turn it off or delete it all together but once, once you got everything like you want it and I'm pretty happy with this I would go into uh, back in the to the preview mode there and turn off my light fixtures so that I don't see them anymore 
I might want to adjust this just a little bit uh, what's this this one is at 10 I'm gonna go up to 30 on it I don't like the shadows on that wall there and this is just too too dark we're not getting a, a big glare there so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on up with it I'm gonna go up to about 50 no I'm not I'm gonna go to 40 and go ahead and let that go so what I need to do now is go back into uh, go done and get back into the uh, render area the preview area here I'm going to right click and I'm gonna go to show the hide and I'm gonna check light fixtures I'm gonna click OK so my light fixtures are hidden and the only thing I need to do now is a presentation view and I can take some snapshots and save them and I can make a, a slideshow so what I can do now is just kind of zoom in here and get me a couple of good shots of what the kitchen's going to look like now what I'll do is I'll just save this image as a JPG file and come down here to and just click on JPG and it'll prompt you to save it and wherever you want to save it at and then you can make you a slideshow of the different views for example probably one like this that would be a good view zoom in here a little bit and then maybe one over this way showing the refrigerator and stove and the back side of this island so that would be a pretty good one there and then maybe come around and catch this angle here so that's about it for this video I hope it helped if it did give me a thumbs up and as always thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel and have a good day